Clinic. This is Dr. Wright. Good to see you, Dr. Wright. Good seeing you too. Uh, we've had some very cold days mm -hmm. this past week. Mm -hmm. As pet owners, what do we need to do? Um, well, our recommendation would be that when it gets about 30 degrees or below, to bring the pets in. It's just too cold for them to be outside. Um, and then when they do go outside during the day, when it gets a little bit warmer, have them out there for just short amounts of period of time. Make sure they have water. Um, the water freezes over really fast, so make sure that they have fresh water. This is even true with outdoor cats that are just... Uh, yeah, exactly. Two um, inches of fur going on. Yeah, and I mean, you know, older cats right now, they tend to want to stay, stay more time inside because it's so cold. But it's like my cat, every now and once in a while, he wants to go out, but I make sure he comes right back in, especially before, you know, it turns nighttime. Now, coming up is dental month or what do you call that february is what month for animals february is generally dental month at most clinics um it is here at our clinic and we try to really push and promote doing dentals and um oftentimes clients want to know why and we go over the reasons for it um, um you know what we do here and how the dentals are done all that so and and most of the time when we do our dentals they always go home uh the same day later in the afternoon why is it important? Um, good question. Um, you have a lot of bacteria count uh, that's formed from the plaque that you know adheres to the teeth, and if you get too much of that, it develops to tartar. Um, and if you go to your own dentist, one of the biggest reasons that we do, you know, people have their teeth clean is because that bacteria that uh, is in the mouth it can actually spread elsewhere in the body to the heart, to the kidneys. Um, so keeping uh, a healthy, clean mouth is actually really important. It's more than just having good breath. So this is just as important as for animals as it is for people. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And we do our dentals. It's, it's very similar to people. Uh, they, they are sedated. Uh, the teeth get scaled, then we polish them. We look throughout the mouth to see if any teeth need to be extracted. Always call the owners before we do that. And depending upon uh, the amount of gingivitis and how bad dirty the teeth are, sometimes they'll go home with antibiotics. Everybody, this is Dr. Wright. We're at Pet Vet Clinic. Tell everybody where you're located. We are located off of Burnt Hickory Road. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Hey, have you checked out Treasure Chest lately? We have a whole new look in the store on our webpage, treasurechestoutlet.com. Check us out on Facebook. Like us. You may never know what might pop up that you like. But most of all, come by the store. See what we've got. Used stuff. New stuff. We've added a whole line of ornamental concrete for the yard. We have bird baths, benches, patio sets, anything that you could think of that you may want for your yard. Come by and see us at 188 North Morningside Drive. results immediately. We also have digital x-rays. Come on down to Pet Vet Clinic. We're located at the corner of Burn Hickory and Mission Road. Our business hours are Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. We're here Saturdays from 8 to 12. Hope to see you soon. Hi there. Welcome to West End Pharmacy. We're a locally owned pharmacy here in Cartersville. We're independent, not associated with any chains. Located conveniently on West Avenue next to the subway. We specialize in providing great customer service to our customers. Most of our customers wait less than 10 minutes to get their prescriptions filled. We are located on West Avenue next to Subway just east of Ingalls. We accept insurance. We have competitive prices for those who do not have it. Come see us and experience the best service in town. This mattress, best quality, best price, guaranteed. Where can you find a huge selection of high-end mattresses without paying high-end prices? SOS Mattress, best quality, best price, guaranteed. Where can you save 50 to 80% off retail every day? SOS Mattress, best quality, best price, guaranteed. We offer the lowest prices on the best name brand mattresses. SOS Mattress and Clearance Center on Highway 41 in Cartersville, one block south of Home Depot. Good morning, Bartow County. Uh... Mitchell Scoggins, judge of the probate court here, along with uh, uh, two of my cohorts, I guess you might say, is <laughs> Steve Taylor, county commissioner, Steve Stewart, who is our tax commissioner, and uh, they've both just finished up their first year uh, of a four-year term. So uh, 
let's start off with uh, Commissioner Taylor and state what's new. Uh, good morning, Happy New Year. Uh, there's a lot of good, exciting things going on in Bartow County. We've just finished up, or I've just finished up my first year. I know Mitchell's been here for quite a while, and uh, Steve Stewart's finishing up his first year as tax commissioner. But we've had, uh, I would say, we've had a good year this year. We, uh, not without some uh, bumps in the road, of course. We had a tornado in January right after I came into office, and that was kind of a eye-opening experience for me, being new commissioner and also. But we had great department heads and uh, still do and and the county employees has, has really worked hard this year and in this past year and uh, one of our goals when I came on board was to let's try to eliminate furloughs and it looks like that's going to happen at least six of them this year and so uh, that's a goal that we've accomplished we've uh, we're looking for an increase in revenues this year last year was an off year I think our lost and sploshed both was off around 10 percent so that equates to around a million and a half, I think, Steve, yeah. if that's right, per lost and splash. So mm -hmm. we did have to cut some projects back somewhat, but we're hoping for uh, more revenues this year and, and just to get some more things done, of course. Steve? Steve. Well, it's my first year, too, and Happy New Year to everybody. Uh, there's been some pleasant surprises in as a, my first year of taking over tax commissioner. And the, the, I guess for, first and foremost is how wonderful a staff I have that I'm blessed to have a, a good bunch of folks working for me. And uh, I like them all and everything's going well. Uh, taxpayers in Bartow County are notoriously, you know, famous for paying their taxes. We're already at 84% now without the utilities even being paid. So that's, that's a really good plus for us too. And, uh, you know, we've got this that tie level alarm thing just about worked out. It's over with after February, so it all just starts normal business after February with tie level alarm tax because we won't have to revert back anymore. So And that is uh, turning into being revenue neutral, like kind of for Bartow County, right? So far. Yeah. It, We're getting close to getting in the red, though. So uh, yeah. that's kind of been something we've been nervous about since that was instituted, and uh, according to Steve and and his wonderful people over there in the tax office. We think we're basically about breaking even, would you yeah. say? Yeah, so right far? now. Right now. I'm a new grandfather, too. First time. <laughs> Congratulations. That's the best thing that's happened this year. Yeah. Yeah. Steve, tell us about the title of Lorem Tax. A little bit for the people who don't know what that is. Explain it to them just a little. Well, everybody's got a pretty good handle on what it is now. It's, uh, it's a tax that if you buy a new vehicle, you get credit for your uh, your sales tax, and you also, from now on, you'll only pay 20, at least right now, you only pay $20 to come and renew your tag, as, you know, every time, every, you know, it's still regulated on your birthday, but you only have to pay $20 if you're in the TAVT program. If you haven't switched cars, you'll stay on the old Avalon program, of course. So it's, uh, it's snowing out there, too, look, guys. First time I've seen it that, is. but, uh, uh, it's like Steve said, it, right now it's revenue neutral, but um, a lot of the counties are seeing that. Uh, come on in. Hey, have you eaten yet? No, and I'm getting very hungry. How about the chicken Alfredo? From Angelo's? From Angelo's, that's it. That's one of my favorites. Is that what you want to get? Let's do it. Let's go get something to eat. Y'all come eat with us. Come on, let's go see. Hey, Angelo, how are you today? Good, Randy, how are you doing today? Doing great. Good, hey, Mary. Hey, how are you? Good. I'm going to have that special for today, the chicken cordon bleu. Oh, great choice. That's got the ham inside and the cheese and the top with a nice cream sauce. Great. Good choice. That's, that's for me. I'm just going to stick with that chicken alfredo, chicken fettuccine, John, you name it. I can never get that name right. Tell him, Angela. Chicken fettuccine alfredo. That's it. Good that's choice. the one. Okay. Top grilled chicken. Great. Hey, that sounds great. Why don't y'all come eat with us today? 
Did you get enough to eat? Dang, that was good. It, it was, always is. It was so good. What you fixing to do? I'm going into Uptown Girl Bazaar to see what new things Brenda has in. How about that? I oh, love her stuff. They're so cute. How about that? Well, I'm going to step down to Riley's. I'm going to pick me up another shirt. She's got some great pants on sale this week. Right. And then I've got a dentist appointment with uh, Dental Designs, Dr. Lee. Okay. Right. Well, I'll catch up with you later. Sounds good. See you later. Bye-bye. Right, Welcome. I'm Dr. Patterson at Patterson Family Chiropractic Clinic. I ask people all over the city, what do you know about chiropractic? And they all say the same thing. It helps with headaches, mid-back pain, neck pain, low back pain, and sciatic pain. Well, current research is showing that chiropractic can help with the rest of these symptoms also. I also ask, have you ever been to a chiropractor? And they either say no, or they say yes, but I didn't like the popping, the snapping, and the twisting feeling. Well, at Patterson Family Chiropractic Clinic, I use low force technique where there is no snapping or popping or cracking. We are located right next to Okinawa Restaurant. Telephone number is 770-383-9605. I am Dr. Patterson at Patterson Family Chiropractic Clinic and thank you. Welcome to Honda Carland North. Hi, I'm Kip Bishop. I'm the finance manager. My job is to help get you the best terms available. Hi, I'm Wayne Reed. We want y'all to know that we are the number one Honda service department in the Atlanta area for customer satisfaction. I'm Dana Fancher, Honda Carland North, Cartersville, Georgia. Hi, my name is Tim. I've lived in Cartersville all my life. Come on down to Honda Carland North and see me and I'll sell you a car. Hi, I'm Chris Love with Honda Carland North. Hi, I'm Amber Hampton. This is a 2013 Honda Accord Coupe. You deserve a car like this. Look at all the room we have to offer in this Honda Fit. My name is Ben. This is the 2013 Honda Civic. Come in, take it for a test drive, take it on home. Hey guys, I'm Don Weathers with 24 Bail Bonding. You need a bondsman? I'm your man. I can get you out of any jail anywhere in the state of Georgia. I'll set you up with some easy payment plans, uh, easy payment terms. We're open 24-7, even including holidays. You need a bondsman? I'm your man. You come see me at 24 Bell Bonding, located in Cartersville, Georgia, 770-382-2424. Come see me. In. Here's the sheriff. It's our sheriff. Come on in, Clark. <laughs> Drag the chair up, Clark. I'll do it. Sorry I'm late, gentlemen. I had a couple of guys that didn't forget who the sheriff is. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have a little prayer meeting this morning. Let's pull the sheriff a chair up here. What's up, buddy? How you doing? What's happening, Jim? Good. Mr. Hey. Sheriff? Hey. Sir? Come on in. This is just a little... Uh, we're just talking, yakking, and uh, oh. for, uh, David, and uh, talking about what uh, what we did. Uh, I know uh, Commissioner Steve Stewart, Task Commissioner Steve Stewart, Commissioner Taylor, they both are finishing up their first year uh, of a four-year term. So they kind of <laughs> tell us what their experiences were for the year. And uh, so let me ask you, what's uh, new at the Sheriff's Department? No, what's new is we're crowded. You're crowded. <laughs> um, we've got a lot of things going on, uh, Judge. We've, uh, you know, we've started our new heat unit. Right. And that's, uh, you've probably seen an increase in charges in your courtroom. Um, we've got the new patrol cars out on the street, which are really looking good. Uh, we've done a lot of roadblocks, we've uh, done a lot of security checks, and uh, just trying to get by. It's really good though. Appreciate everything the Commissioner's done for us in Thank his you. first year. Well, you obtained those uh, 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 heat cars from a grant from, the, was, from the federal government? Uh, from that? state. State, state, okay. state grant. That was three, right? Three, yes, sir. Three, three cars. Three. That was three, and they're, they're blue, and they're... And are they not just totally dedicated to working traffic? That's exactly what they do. HEAT stands for Highway Enforcement of Aggressive Traffic. Okay. And we're targeting speeding, we're targeting DUIs, we're targeting child restraints, we're targeting seat belts. Um, so get the word out that uh, put your seat belt on because okay. uh, they're going to be stopping you. And, and it's not about numbers. It's, it's more quality charges than it is quantity. We're not out here being traffic Nazis. We wanted everybody to know that up front. We're out here enforcing those laws and we're targeting especially DUIs and speeding. 
because the fatality number in Bartow County has risen a lot. Yeah. Clarks, and you've seen mm -hmm. that in the Now, Clark, those heat, those heat cars, uh, they patrol county roads too, not just interstate and state roads, right? Well, I have, I have them mainly assigned to county roads. I mean, I, and nothing against the state patrol. They're as short-handed as everybody else is, but you know, we're kind of leaving the interstate to the state troopers and let them really run radar out there. But we do work in conjunction with them when they have a group yeah. come up. And see, part of that heat grant, if you remember, is is if they're all the same color, but they've right. all got a Bartow County Sheriff's Office or whatever other counties involved in this heat program. And if they have a big, uh, if you want to call it a roundup, you want to call it a big, a big deal in another county, then part of the grant agreement was is that my three guys go down there. Yeah, so yeah. all the vehicles are the same. The only thing is ours has Bartow County Sheriff's Department. That's correct. Yes, sir. That's correct. And it's it's going to be something to see when it starts warming up again. And you know, in the summer and in the spring, people want to drink, they want to drive. And my advice is get you a designated driver because we're going to be out there. You know, we got that mobile intox, uh, intoxilizer van, intoximeter van. Um, so we can give you a breath test right there on the street. And if you, if you make it, we'll put you in a cab and send you home. If you don't make it, you're going to get to take the ride up. What's the legal home. limit now? 0 0.08. Yeah. Well, I saw but in an right accident, it's 0 0.05. Yeah. Or if anybody, under, which is against the law for anybody underage to drink, but less safe to drive, as the judge can tell you, it's zero hot. tolerance. Zero tolerance, yeah. exactly. Yes. And, and Clark was mentioning the uh, fact that they've written a lot of tickets this time, and they have, and we were a little over a million two uh, just in traffic <coughs> fines in 2013. And one thing I want to mention to you, and Clark has a little bit to do with this too, is uh, is the new school bus cameras. Uh, on the uh, I don't know how many exactly uh, they've got in the county, but they do have at least 20 on school buses on the heavily congested routes. And um, if, if if anybody passes a school bus illegally, it starts taking uh, video and uh, still photos of that person passing the school bus. And then the evidence goes to the Sheriff's Department and if the Sheriff's Department decides there's enough evidence there to issue a citation, the citation comes back to my court and it's a three hundred dollar fine uh, for passing a school bus, and it should be. And it's pretty easy to handle those cases because it's their own black and white on the video. And uh, we've had, uh, I think, we had thirty thousand dollars in fines last year from people passing school buses while stopped while loading or unloading, and that is very serious in my. In my opinion, that uh, people don't need to do that because there could be a kid crossing the road or about to run across the road to get on the bus, and heaven knows we don't want to see what any child. What road, Mitchell? Kind of. Uh, the two main roads are Grassdale Road uh, up here uh, by the Old Cass High School yeah. and Highway 20, and um, Highway 411 North. It's where they're having their most problem. Uh, the misconception that people have is that if you're going the opposite direction and it's a multi-lane road, you don't have to stop. Well, that's not true. If the road's divided by only yellow lines, you do have to stop. The only time you don't have to stop if the road is divided by a guardrail or a median. Uh, all other times you have to stop uh, while the lights are out. The, they first signal with the yellow lights, the cameras start filming when the yellow lights come on the school bus. And as the stop sign comes out, they start taking photographs. And I've seen as many as six and seven at a time on a video go by a stop school bus. And mm -hmm. that's, that's Does all the school buses have those cameras? No, I think there are about 20 in there. And the goal is to try to get them on as many as possible. Just the ones on Grassdale. Just the ones on Grassdale. <laughs> hey guys, Chris Allen here with Johnny's Pizza. And in case you haven't heard, I'm the new owner. We've totally redecorated the inside. We've added seven flat screen TVs to enjoy uh, sporting events. We have live music on Thursdays. We're starting trivia on Tuesdays in just a couple of weeks. We have the best pizza in town, hand tossed, handmade. Every pizza is made to order using the freshest ingredients right here uh, locally. Our servers are great. They have a wonderful attitude and they always have a smile on their face. We have over 75 different beer selections, including 20 on tap. So come on down and join us. Check out the new environment. Check out some great pizza. And we'll see you here. Johnny's Pizza, 244 North Dixie Avenue. Welcome to Santana Mexican Grill. 
I always order the tacos. They're just like I get in Mexico. Santana has the best tacos in town. This is so good. We order this on a regular basis for our customers, for um, our accounts that are all around the Northwest Georgia. We come here. We offer an authentic Mexican menu, daily lunch specials, and drink specials. So come on out and see us. Located on Felton Road beside Pizza Hut and behind the Lowe Shopping Center, Santana Mexican Grill, or check us out on Facebook at Santana Mexican Grill. Best chicken soup in town. I'm Dale Yarbrough. This is my wife, Kathy. We own the Guardian Total Pest and Termite Control and Lawn Care. We've been serving Cartersville, Bartow, and surrounding counties for over 20 years. We provide exceptional service with guaranteed results. Give us a call, 770-386-9985, or visit us on the internet, guardianpestandlawn.com. Hey, this is Joe Wilson, co-owner of Parnick Jennings Funeral Home, Cartersville's locally owned funeral home, serving all of Bartow County since 1977. The biggest difference uh, of, of our funeral home here in Bartow County, Cartersville, is that we are a locally owned funeral home. Uh, we make all our decisions right here in the funeral home. When people walk in the door, they're going to meet the owner and know that we're making decisions on what's best for the families that have placed their trust and confidence in us and the needs of our community. One thing we always say to families that place their trust in us is ask a family we have served. We want people to know that when they come here for probably one of the most difficult experiences in their life, that, that they can feel comfortable with us. You know, all our family actually comes to Party Jennings. You know, once we lose a loved one, um, we, we call on them because, you know, they, they really took care of us in the past. As far as uh, controlling the funeral, um, the arrangements for the uh, traffic into to the gravesite, to everything went perfect and, you know, in order like it needed to be. And, you know, especially with a loved one that you lost, you want things to go like you're supposed to, and they really done a, a, a professional job of doing it. Prearranging a funeral it could be probably one of the most important things that you could do for your loved one. You have time to make those decisions in a calm, relaxed atmosphere, and you can lock in the price. In today's economy, you know, price is something that we have to think about. And by making a prearrangement in advance and funding it, you're guaranteeing that those prices will be there and you'll be protected from any future inflation. On behalf of myself and all the staff here at Parnick Jennings Funeral Home, we want you to know it would be our honor to serve your family during your time of need. Please call us at 770-382-0034. Let me explain what this is, and we've been adding quite a few of these to our collection. This is a J.D. Power actual award for the highest initial quality mid-size premium car for 2013. This was just, just awarded to us. That means we have ranked higher in initial quality. That means problems per hundred cars sold by the actual consumer who's reported back to, hey, this is my experience buying this brand new car. The, the Hyundai Genesis has achieved the highest, the highest rating by J.D. Power. That means over the Hondas, over the Mercedes, over the BMW, over the Lexus, and over the Audi. Congratulations once again to the Hyundai family and Hyundai Genesis. <laughs> Steve, the busiest year of my life. Our too. Commissioner Taylor, will you tell us a little about Lake Point, where we're at with Lake Point? Yeah, Lake Point's coming on. We're really excited about it. Finally, I think the road, this is uh, January 5th, I think. I think within maybe by the 1st of February, mid-February, we'll have the new road open down there, the 293 detour that we've got uh, now will be uh, open and uh, then we've got uh, they've got several uh, companies that's coming on and businesses that's uh, they've got contracts for it hasn't closed yet we're excited to see Bass Pro Shop when they finally get started which they haven't started yet but we think they may get started in the spring maybe March or April and that's going to be good news for Bartow County of course everybody's heard all about Lake Point especially Bass Pro Shop. There's uh, the ball fields. I understand they've got tournaments uh, scheduled for the first weekend in June on four fields and the first weekend wow. in August on four more. So there'll be eight ball fields open this summer. I know if you go by and look at it, you can't imagine, but uh, beach volley volleyball will be open this summer. Of course, the wakeboard park is already open. And 
there's four or five hotels that's slated to uh, close, we think, and maybe 14, so uh, close on their property, that is. I don't know about construction, but at least to take down their property. So we know that's going to happen. <coughs> Lake Point is going to happen. It's just a matter of how fast, and it's not happening fast enough, I know, for Bartow County citizens, but it looks like it is coming on slower than we thought, but it is a sure thing. That's a that's all on the south campus. On the south time. campus, yeah. The north campus, they haven't started on yet, and I'm not sure. I think maybe the uh, road opening on the north campus and maybe waiting on funding might be part of the uh, holdup on the north campus. But the south campus is coming on, and uh, like I say, they're in the works now. They've been moving dirt. And, if you haven't been down been there, moving see, graphite. been moving a lot of graphite down there too. I know they, they hit a, a rich vein of graphite, I understand. And, and so uh, it would have been a good place to mine, I guess, had they not bought it and decided to mm -hmm. develop it. But yeah, that's uh, Lake Point's really coming on strong. Another good thing happening on the north end of town is Highland 75 and all the industries that's looking at Highland 75 right now. You know, there's. Uh, a couple of industries that's uh, decided to locate up there and maybe two more hot prospects so uh, we think uh, that's going to develop on out in the next couple of years and uh, we may even be looking for I don't know if uh, another industrial park if it's in the citizens appetite or not but it looks like, uh, like uh, Highland 75 is going to be a, a big success Finally, it, it started slow and uh, we got caught up in the recession right after we bought the land, but that's going to be great for good paying jobs in Bartow County, as well as Adairsville too. There's good things happening around Adairsville, as you, everybody knows the Shaw plant. 500 jobs up there and, and they've got a lot of potential up and down the interstate and a really good exit for uh, commerce up there. Y'all been aggressive at soliciting those some new companies out of come. Yeah, yeah, we've really focused on economic development uh, since I've been here. And actually, before Clarence was real good at that, and uh, that was part of his focus also. But it was it was a smooth transition as far as economic development goes. And uh, we've got we've got a great team over at the, Melinda Lemon and her staff over in the chamber offices over there. They they work so well with. Uh, with the city and the county as far as economic development, all the cities in Bartow. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. Um, we're looking to an excited, uh, and are excited about 2014. We hope it's a little better than 2013, uh, which was a good year. Uh, uh, and I think that, uh, let me uh, congratulate Steve and Steve on their first years of uh, their uh, four year term, and they are both doing an excellent job. Uh, I want to also take a little time to uh, thank my staff. Uh, I have a great staff over there in the probate court. There's uh, nine workers there. I don't have a lot of turnover, so they've been there with me for years. And um, I just want to uh, thank them for all the hard work they do. Uh, Sheriff, any last words? Just uh, let everybody know that we're there, we're working, and we're working hard. I've got some of the best people you'll ever find working here at the Sheriff's Office with me. And uh, we're working for one goal, and that's to make Bartow the safest place to live. So that's where I, we are. I agree, and and I likewise, I'd like to thank my staff also. I've got a fantastic staff, and I could not have got through this first year without the support and all the experience that's here in this office. And I just uh, thank so much of them, and they do a great job, and and uh, we're just uh, well blessed. All of us are with a good staff. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Steve, any last words? Uh, you know, uh, people that hadn't paid their taxes yet, February 16th goes up 10%. Just remember that. <laughs> okay. That's when the add on, the 10% add on goes on. So please come by and, and pay before we have to do that. That's about, that's about all I've got. And I, like I say, I, I like these guys. We, we're trying to do our best for our constituents and Bartow County and uh, as a whole. And, and we appreciate the opportunity to serve. We do, and we all work together good. It's, it's been a good working relationship since we've been here, and uh, and I appreciate the job that each of these gentlemen do, and uh, I hope they do the job that I do. And thank you very much for joining. Uh, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Good job. Yeah.